Hey, Magic friends. Welcome back. This is your captain speaking here on Captain Clyde's MTG. We've got more spoilers from 40k Warhammer. Um, haven't looked at any of them, but it's ought to be entertaining if nothing else. Uh, don't forget to sub up. One click for you doesn't mean a lot. It means a lot for the channel. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. And don't forget also, uh, use the Play DMU if you're on Arena. It gives you three free plaques. Plaques, plaques, three free packs of Dominaria United. So let's get into it. And we're going to start the round off today with Bone Sabers. So green and two. It's an artifact equipment. Whenever a quick creature attacks, you put four plus one plus one counters on it because why not? Uh, and you equip for three. This is disgusting. So anyway, I'm going to assume that's because there's four hands. Anyhow. Moving on, next we have uh, Gene Stealer Locust. So a blue and three for a three three uh, Neurotrommel Rod. Anyway, whatever that means, whenever a creature attacks you, it gets minus one minus old in of turn. Whenever a creature attacks one of your opponents, it gets plus O oh, plus one. Interesting. Moving on. Next we have Venomthrope. So a blue and green and one for a two two flying death touch hexproof. Uncommon. I, uh, yeah, okay, whatever. Next we have the Chiron Guard, uh, green two and X for a three three with Ravenous. Now, if you don't remember, Ravenous is it enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it, and if X is five or more, you get to draw a card when it enters. Shield Wall, you get to sacrifice the guard creatures you control with counters on them, gain hexproof and indestructible. Next, we have Tyrid Prime. Um, blue, green, and one for an 0-4 with Evolve. Everybody knows Evolve. When you put it into play, uh, if the next creature comes into play, if it has more power or toughness, it gets a plus one, plus one counter on this creature. It has Synapse Creature. Other creatures you control have Evolve. That, ooh, good God. Um, yeah, Evolve decks. Here we go. All right, next we have the Acolyte Hybrid. Red and two and a Chainsaw. Anyway, for a 2-2, Heavy Rock Cutter, whenever the Acolyte Hybrid attacks, destroy up to one target artifact. If an artifact is destroyed this way, its controller draws a card. Interesting. Like the ability. Don't like my opponent's drawing cards. Uh, we have an Aberrant. Green 1 and X, 0-0, zero, zero, so has Ravenous. Uh, so it comes in with X with uh, X plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. It has Trample, Heavy Power Hammer. Whenever the Aberrant deals combat damage to a player, destroy target artifact or enchantment that player controls. Wow, these green cards are all about artifact hate and enchantment. Tenrin Invasion. Green and three creature. Create a number of three, three green Tyranid warrior creature tokens with trample equal to the number of opponents you have. I mean, that's okay if you have, I guess, two or more opponents. Eh. Next, we have Trigon Prime. Uh, blue, green, and two for a 4-4 four, four subterranean assault. When the Trigon Prime attacks... Put a plus one plus one counter on it and a plus one plus one counter on up to one other target attacking creature. That creature can't be blocked this turn. With four mana, that's pretty disgusting for an uncommon. Next we have Clamavos. Anyway, for a green and four, you get a 3-3 three, three rare that has Proclaim Proclamator Hailer. Each creature you control gets plus one plus one for each plus one plus one counter on it. Oh my god, the math. This is you got to if you play the green deck, you better be good at calculus. Anyway, moving on. Next we have M Malanothrope. Blue, green, and one for a 2-2 two, two with flying. Scavenge the dead. When it enters the battlefield, exile target player's graveyard. Put a plus one, plus one counter on it for each creature exiled this way. Alright, this is really cool for graveyard hate. I like this. Man, that was just a real, that was just a real card. It'd be a mythic rare. Anyway, moving on, we have the Maw Lock. I guess. So for a green, red, and X, you get a 2-2. Two, two. Has Ravenous. So five or, five or more on, you get to draw a card. Terror from the Deep. When it enters the battlefield, it fights up to one target creature and opponent controls. If that creature would die this turn, exile it instead. Eh. It's pretty good. I mean, 2-2 two, two for 2 to start with. It's pretty much a fight spell with legs. Next we have the Goliath Truck. Four mana... 4-4 four, four vehicle that has stowage. Anyway, 
Whenever Goliath truck attacks, put two plus one plus one counters on another creature, another target attacking creature, cruise for two. Eh, it's all right. Next, we have Pure Strain, Geno Stealer, green and two for a 1-1. One, one. When it enters the battlefield with two plus one plus one counters on it, that makes it 3-3 three, three for three. Vanguard Species, whenever whenever it attacks, you may remove a plus one plus one counter from it. <clears throat> if you do, search your library for a basic land card, put it on the battlefield tap, and then shuffle. This thing is amazing. Oh, wow. That's a that's pretty good pretty good common. Not gonna lie. Ra Raven or Ra Ra Raven? Anyway. Blue, green, and X. It's 0 0. Has flash. Uh, comes in with X counters because of Ravenous. When it enters the battlefield, target creature attacks target opponent this turn if able. I see shenanigans. Next we have Atlan Jackal. Okay. Green, red, and one for a 2 2 Trample Haste. Uh, skilled Outrider, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you may search your library for a basic land card, put it on the battlefield, tap, and shuffle. Hey, more land get. Not too terrible. <laughs> Screamer Killer. Uh, the, what a, <clears throat> what a uh, inventive name. Anyway, red and four for a 5-5 five five with Trample. Bioplasmic Scream. Whenever you cast a creature spell with mana value five or greater, Screamer Killer deals five damage to any target. All right, that's a bit absurd. This is, yeah, okay. Anyway, moving on. We have Spirocyst. That sounds like something you need to put a cream on. Anyway, uh, green and XX for a 0, zero. So it has Ravenous, which is the X cost. So if you spend 11 mana, you can draw a card. <clears throat> has Defender and has Spore Chimney. Ew. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, search your library for up to X basic land cards. Put them on the battlefield, tap, then shuffle. Sweet Jesus. I'm going to make, I'm going to spend 11 mana. I'm going to make a 5-5 five, five defender that lets me draw a card and then rampant growth five times. This thing is disgusting. Wow. Eh, anyway. Uh, Termagant Swarm. God, I'm probably butchering the hell out of these names. Uh, green and X for 0-0 zero, zero has Ravenous. Death Frenzy. When Termagant Swarm dies, create a number of 1-1 one, one green tyranny creature tokens equal to its power. Ooh, that's a pretty good card. Next we have Shadow in the Warp. Green, red, and one enchantment. First creature spell you cast each turn costs two less. Whenever an opponent casts their first non-creature spell each turn, deals two damage to that player. That's a pretty good card. These green, red decks seems to be really centering in around ramp and making big stuff. Turvagon, I think. One X, a one... Green 1 and X has Ravenous, Trample, Spawn, Termagants. Uh, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, create that many. Ooh, 1-1 one, one green. Wow. Okay. So this thing is uh, Walking Blist on crack. Or, or Hanger Back Walker. My bad. All right. Next we have the Red Terror. Red 3 for a 4-3. He has Advanced Species. Whenever, the red, whenever a red source you control deals damage to one or more permanents, and or players put plus one plus one counter on the red terror. Well, that's gonna get out of hand real quick. Next we have Lictor. Sounds like something I used to do when I was younger. Anyway, moving on. Green and three for a three three to flash. A pheromone trail. Again, something I had when I was younger. Anyway, uh, when it enters the battlefield, if a creature enters the battlefield under the opponent's control this turn, create a three three warrior creature token with trample. That's that's pretty interesting. Next, we have Toxicrine, I think. Anyway, green and three for two, four with Reach and Death Touch. Okay. Hypertoxic Mismasma. All lands have tap, add one man of any color, and lose all other abilities. Wow, you can new. If, you're, if, you're, if your opponent's playing Pain Bow, this would probably help them a lot, except for the fact that if their lands have anything cool going on, they don't have anything cool going on anymore. So, next we have Xanathrope. Red, blue, and X. It's another Tyranid with Ravenous. Flying, War 2. Enters the battlefield. Does X damage to any target. Not too bad. Not gonna lie. Not too bad. Alright, we have the Hierophant Bio Titan. Also looks like Cloverfield, basically. Anyway, uh, wow, Jesus. Two green and ten for a 12-12. Frenzied Metabolism. As additional... 
cost to cast this spell, you may remove any number of plus one plus one counters from among creatures you control. This spell costs two less to cast for each counter removed this way. It has Vigilance, Reach, Ward 2, um, and other things apparently. It has Titanic. Uh, it can't be blocked by creatures power two or less. So this is why you're making all those big token 1-1 one, one counter stuff. Okay. Okay. Horus Specs, I think. Green 3 for 2-2 two, two with Ravenous Hunger. Whenever another creature dies, put plus one plus one counter on it. Not too bad. Devouring Monster. Tap. Remove X plus one plus one counters from Horus Specs. Add X man of any color. That's kind of cool. Not too shabby. We have a gargo Gargoyle Flock, whatever that means. Blue, green, and two for a 2-2 two, two flying with Sky Swarm at the beginning of your end step. If a creature enters the battlefield under your control this turn, create a 1-1 one, one blue Tyranny Gargoyle creature token with flying. Seems very lackluster. But anyway, we have the Exocreen, I guess. So red, two, and X for a 2-2 two, two with Ravenous Bioplasmic Barrage. When the Exocreen enters the battlefield, it deals X damage to each player and each other creature. Sweet Jesus, it's an earthquake with legs. Moving on. Next we have Nexos, I think. Green and one for 2-2. Two, two. Uh, basic lands you control have. Tap, add two colorless, spend this mana only to cast only to cat only on costs that contain X. This sounds like a good idea until you need colored mana. I'm just saying. Unless it's optional. Need more text. Anyway. Winged Hive Tyrant. Red, blue, and three for a 4-4 four, four with flying in haste. Why wouldn't it be? Uh, Will of the Hive Mind. Other creatures you control with counters on them have flying in haste. All right, then. We'll just leave that right there. Next, we have the Tyranid Haragon. Dawn. Green, blue, and four for a 4-4 four, four flying ward for good god. Uh, whenever it or another Tyranid you control deals combat damage to a player, create a 1-1 blue Tyranid Gargoyle creature token with flying. That seems very lackluster for as much as it costs. Just saying. Next we have Gene Stealer Patriarch. Uh, blue and 1 for a 4-4. Four, four. It has Gene Stealer's Kiss. Uh, when it attacks, put an infection counter on target creature defending player controls. Children of the Cult, whenever a creature with an affection counter on it dies, you create a token that's a copy of the creature, except it's a Tyranoid in addition to its other types. That's pretty cool, not gonna lie. Next we have Bi Biosophagus. But f fossil anyway, green and one for one three. Uh, tap, add one mana of any color. If this mana is spent to cast a creature spell, that creature enters the battlefield with additional plus one plus one counter on it. Again, more with the counters. Then we have... Grice and Starn, Kel Keller, Morph. Good lord, I'm butchering this. Anyway, it's a red, blue, and one for a 3 2. Ward 2. Three auto stubs. I think that means arms. Anyway, whenever another source you control deals one deals exactly one damage to a permanent or player, uh, this card deals two damage to that permanent or player. Alright, so if you got a whole bunch. So basically, if you bust out a grape shop for buttloads, it really is buttloads. So. There's that. Next we have Hormagant Horde. Horma, Hormagant. Anyway. Green and X for a 1-1 one, one with Ravenous. Endless Swarm. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay a green and two. If you do return the swarm from your graveyard to your hand. That's pretty sweet. That's a card that never goes away. This will probably be very popular in Commander. In lots of decks. Not even going to lie. So, there you have it. There's everything spoiled from the Tyranid Storm deck today, or Tyranid Commander deck, sorry. It might as well be Storm deck with all the ravenous stuff going on and so forth and what have you. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out the box opening videos. And as always, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. The comments down below is going to feed that YouTube algorithm, get more views, and support the channel. Those of you who've already subbed up, I appreciate it. For those who haven't, hit the button, please. And if you've done everything you can to support the channel, you want to do a little extra, or if you just don't want to sub and just still spend money, I guess, which is more expensive than subbing, but we won't go there. So, links in the description to the eBay store where the box opening video stuff will be sold and other cool cards and swag. There's a Patreon link in there as well if you want to do a monthly subscription and get cool swag and entered in prizes and other kinds of discounts. Also, an email if you want to reach out and say, hey, hey. And, as always, until next time, be kind. 
and I hope to see you across from the game table. Hopefully not playing this monstrosity of a deck. Good God.